People in Cabell County met at the courthouse today for an annual National Day of Prayer service. 13 News reporter Natalie Wattis was there and has more on the event's significance for the community. Natalie. Today's National Day of Prayer ceremony marks 70 years since it became a national holiday. Cabell County's event included a concert and a prayer service from local pastors, state and local leaders, and other prominent community members. and liberty. That's what event coordinator TN says is the theme for this gathering. We need to be loving each other a little bit more, enjoying life a little bit more, and appreciate our freedoms. So I think it's it's very important message for this year. This service is especially noteworthy because today is the 70th anniversary of the National Day of Prayer, and it was established originally with the Continental Congress back in the 1700s, and so we've continued the tradition, obviously, for over 200 years. The ceremony began with a concert. I came followed by a prayer service led by pastors, officials, and prominent community members. Folks who came to the ceremony say they hope this event will help bring the community together. It's a very, very important thing. I think it's great for believers, not only believers, great for the community to get together as one. World War II Medal of Honor recipient Herschel Woody Williams, who was also in attendance, believes this event is necessary. Second to the World War II, <laughs> prayer is needed more today than it has been in all of our time between. Another prominent figure in attendance was West Virginia Secretary of State Mac Warner, who also believes this is an opportunity for unity. Just a great time to get together with people to focus on what's important in life, and that is not the politics, not the policies, not all the things we get caught up on a day-to-day -day basis. Because we stand for the land of the free. The event lasted two hours and people who went say they were happy to observe it in person this year. In the Huntington Newsroom, Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you.